on the go and made this makeup mistake. Perhaps your mascara's all over the place, you're wearing blush like you are a warrior princess, or your lip liner is askew like you just got home from a bar. We're gonna fix all those mistakes right now. So this is Amanda, our, mo our brave model. Thank you, Amanda. There's a few, there are a few mistakes yeah. happening there. So this isn't that Amanda doesn't know how to do her makeup. Her makeup was actually Flawless. perfect. And I pulled her from the audience and I made some mistakes on her that are typical mistakes that, you know, we make as artists and certainly, you know, our viewers make. So they are, you know, you got the mascara underneath the eye, mm -hmm. too much blush, and your lip liner's gone askew. Right. Okay? So I'll start with the blush. And actually, I do this trick to fix blush even on a regular application. So if you just turn a little bit for me. If you've put on where it's too much blush for you, yeah. a great trick that, that I like to do is I actually take the foundation brush that has foundation on it already that you've used. So you've already done your yeah. foundation, you put the blush on. Whatever residue's on the brush, just go over it and it softens those edges. What I find a lot yeah. of people do is they try to put more on and try to you know fix it that way. Simply put a little bit the residue of foundation on top and what this does is it softens that edge and it actually looks like you're blushing from underneath. Okay. So that's why I actually yeah, like you're, that trick. You're blending it out almost. Right. Yeah. And this is actually a good trick. You know sometimes you do your makeup and it's just too done? Mm -hmm. Do this trick where you just take your foundation brush on top and that will freshen it up. Okay. okay? Yeah, that's a good tip. Lip liner. Yeah. This happens more with red lip liner when you're trying to get that perfect lip because the lip line has to be perfect with a dark red for holiday, for example. Right. So if you do this, and I, I love watching people try to fix things and they make it worse. <laughs> so, because you all know that that's what you do. So where you have the lip, the lip liner going over, there's no way to try to fix it this way. What you have to do is take it off. So the trick is to take your cotton swab and literally put on top and blend it towards the lip oh. and take it off. Okay. If you try to fix over here, you're not going to get it perfect. Take it right off. Now you may put a little bit of concealer or foundation on if it's red. Yeah. In this case it's neutral, so it's okay. And then you go back in and redo the lip line. Totally redo it, okay. Yeah. That's the but only way to get it done. And that's why people are sort of afraid of the darker colors sometimes, because yeah. they know that that might that's happen. Right. So that's an easy way to fix right. it. The last is, well, there's sort of two here. So for your eyeshadow or your mascara that falls right. underneath the eye. So the worst thing you can do with mascara is try to remove it while it's wet. Okay. It's going to smudge. I so thought it was better to remove it while it's wet. When no. I'm assuming that we've got, you know, foundation or powder underneath. What'll happen is it's sitting on top of the foundation. Mm -hmm. So you actually be able to remove it easier. Mm -hmm. So let it dry, mm -hmm. then come in with your Q-tip and wipe it off this way. And what you'll find is it's easier to get it off because there's a layer of foundation and powder between the mascara and your skin. Right. If it's wet, you're gonna smudge it. So that's a great little trick is let it dry, then take it off. And if you need to touch up with a little bit more foundation or concealer, you can do that. Okay. Now, a trick to prevent that, if you're habitual <laughs> mascara. Faller. Faller, I don't uh -huh. know what the, what the te <laughs> technical, <laughs> technical term is for that. A great trick that I like to do is, is what's called a powder guard. And okay. what you do is you take powder, loose powder, proactively, mm -hmm. just look up a minute, and place a generous amount underneath the eye mm -hmm. before you do your eyeshadow. So do your foundation, do your powder, put on a powder guard, now do your eyeshadow, your mascara, and at the very end, you brush it away, and it takes oh. any little bit of mascara or shadow. This is an excellent way if, um, to prevent the fallout from dark eyeshadow as well. That's yes. a common problem, especially if you like doing the smoky eye. If I do a smoky eye, I always do this trick, and what happens is when I brush this away, it naturally highlights underneath the eye. So it's doing two things it for is you. Actually. It's getting rid of the mistake, yep. and it's, you, it's serving as a highlighter. That's right. So imagine your mascara's on top of this or little bits of the dark shadow. Right. Take your brush and literally brush it away. And what it does is it naturally highlights the eye yeah. underneath there, but it sweeps away all of those imperfections, and you end up with a clean look. So it's an easy Beautiful. way to prevent that from happening. Yeah. And you can just leave the other know, other like side. <laughs> just leave it like that. She's okay with it. Right, Amanda? You don't mind. Same. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to break. We're coming up. Talking about it.